Um, women are dying every year. Thousands of women are dying because of the use of firewood, kerosene, and you know the smoke and then the hardship they go through. So we thought in our own small way we could come up with something easier that can be clean and without the smoke and um, it will be easier for them. This is a biofuel and then with this too. So this will help them health wise and then it helps the um, climate change. We are talking about climate change and these are the things that can help them and sustain them. Uh, what, what's this biofuel made of? It's made of sun dust, um, waste paper and um, grass. Right. Uh, and what are its advantages? I see on the label it says no smoke, odourless, cheaper. Yeah. I mean, how, how cheap is it? I mean, is it affordable for families in, in poor communities? Yeah, it is affordable, but we are still trying to because it's just new and then we are, uh, once it gets everywhere, it's going to be gradually, it will be coming down because it's just made in Lagos now. By next year, January, hopefully it's going to start in Abuja. So that's how the price will be keep reducing when we have it in every state and every corner of Nigeria. Right. Um, but it's going for a dollar per liter now. So the stove goes for like $20 now. So it's quite affordable for them when they look at the health wise. And it's amazing how people want to change to go for this. When you take it to local women in the villages, they want to go for this because they know what they are going through with the smoke, with the car. It's hard to get kerosene. So with these people are really buying this. Uh, have you tried it out? Have you cooked on this? Yeah, oh. I've been cooking with it. Yeah, and what, what's, uh, what's the, what have you cooked on it? Oh. Um, everything, virtually everything. I do my, you know, in Nigeria we have this swallow food, we call it wool, whatever. It cooks everything. Right, so potentially a solution to, to a very difficult to problem, it, yes. to, to thousands, tens thousands, of thousands of deaths every thousand, year. Yeah. Right. Okay, fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank uh, you. And you have with you a lantern. Yeah. Uh, tell me, first of all, the idea behind the lantern. What was the problem before and why the need for this lantern? How does, how does it work? Um, in the villages, they don't have light. There's no light anywhere. And in this year, we have a series of flooding. In the whole of Nigeria for the 36 states, about 26 states were af uh, affected with the flood. And this flood submerge all the electric points. <coughs> now, even before then, we had series of blackouts. We've been having problem of uh, light blackouts. So we decided to say, okay, well, how can we help the villagers to get a small something that can lighten them? They don't need light, they don't need battery to charge it. They just put it on the sun. And once you put it on the sun, in the night you use it for the whole of the night. You are, you are comfortable, you are safe. You don't need to go and look for kerosene. The lantern destroy the eyes because of the smoke. The candle destroy the eyes. Sometimes the candle burn the houses. But when you have this and you put it on the sun. So it's simply that you just put it out in the just sun put it and, out and the sun. And in the night you use it throughout the night. Right. You and it's safe. And it lasts all night, does it? Doesn't? Lasts throughout it lasts. The night. Right. Okay, so there's no battery, there's no there's no nothing else. The it's panel. just this, just the solar panel. Yeah, yeah. just the solar panel. Mm -hmm. right. And the light goes on. Right. You can increase it. Students can use it for it. Even professors can use it for their research. Right, fantastic. And, and <laughs> yes. how much does something like that cost? Is, again, is, is it affordable? Is it, is it yeah, nice it's and cheap? Affordable. No. It's, right. it's, it's very affordable. Right. It's very materials? Affordable. Just materials. Wow, well, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so we, we should be seeing these these stoves and these lanterns all over rural all over. communities, all over yes. Nigeria and beyond. I and mean, it's a problem throughout yeah. Africa. Yeah. Right. It's almost every month. We right. saw more than hundreds. Mm. Thousands. Yeah. Thousands a month. People go for it. Right. You don't need light to charge it. You uh -huh. don't need battery. Put it on the sun and you use it. You can use it to read, use it to do your research. You can go for a picnic mm. and use it in the night over there. Yeah, that's fantastic. Both, thank, thank you both very much. Thank uh. you.